This is the Marvel Select Zombie Hulk from the Marvel Zombies line of Diamond Select or Marvel Select. I don't have a box or a base for this figure. I got this loose as a present. Uh, still looks great. In fact, you might not believe this, but I no longer have any Hulk figures in my collection. I've sold them off except this one. This is the only one left. So I don't have any Hulk figures to compare him to, which is sad, but I'll probably get more Hulk figures when they go on clearance. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this figure, this was his packaging back in the day, the Zombie Hulk. Very nice Marvel Select packaging. And this was the base that came with him. He stepped on the Silver Surfer's head, I believe, or something like that. So it was a very, very cool figure. And for some size comparisons, here he is with my uh, Marvel Legends 2-pack with a Juggernaut Colossus. So he's a pretty, pretty hefty figure, very big, great scale, in fact, uh, with the Marvel Legends uh, figures and Marvel Legends line, in fact. So let's have a closer look at the details of this figure. This figure actually is my favorite out of all the Marvel Zombies figures that I have. I don't know why, but this figure is just so epic. He just looks so creepy like that with his really zombie fight Hulk. I mean, the Hulk itself, he's, he can be already a dominant presence on the shelf. Very imposing figure, but turning him into a zombie? Oh my goodness. I like what Marvel Select has done with this figure. They've really sculpted all those scars, those zombie scars, how he's been eaten through and all that. The head sculpt looks absolutely fantastic. Even the color, it's not a one shade of green. There's a ton of other yellows and greens and reds here and there. I love that they've done that. So I'm giving it some texture. Yeah, I'm giving it a little bit more of a personality just with the colors. Yep, very cool. In terms of articulation, the figure does have a ball jointed neck that is on a hinge. Doesn't have any ab crunch or torso up and down mo motion. He does have a waist swivel. So his his torso is permanently in a crouched position. So it kind of sucks if you can't move that. Shoulders are on ball hinges. They ratchet, they go in and out. This one's a little tight. Uh, ball hinge elbows go up and down and swivel. The wrists are on swivels, but this one's just so, just stuck. I think the plastic has melted a bit, so I don't think I, I'm not even gonna try and move that. The hips are on ball hinges as well. You can go in and out, forward and backward. Same with the knees. Knees and twist, forward, backward. They're a little tight on my figure, so I'm not gonna force it. Um, the feet, though, have rockers, a little bit rockers, and some forward and backward motion. The articulation for this figure is akin to how the original Toy Biz Marvel Legends figures had their articulation. I think back in the day, the Toy Biz figures were the peg uh, when you were doing uh, an articulated uh, figure in the one in the one twelfth or the one tenth scale, and Hasbro had not regained dominance in in the six inch scale at that certain point at that certain point in time. And Marvel Legends was just starting out, and Marvel Select was just starting out and they were I think for one one point or another just trying to copy and improve the toy biz articulation so yeah very very cool the figure is going to get a 9 out of 10 for me I wish the articulation could have been better that would have made this figure a perfect figure let me know in the comment section what you think of this figure. Is this something that's worth hunting down or getting? Because I know the prices on these figures are just ridiculous on the secondary and tertiary market. Or is it just a pass for you? Uh, you're not really interested in zombified Marvel characters. Let me know in the comment section. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.